Hi guys, so for this video we're going to unbox our new Cisco switch. This is Cisco Catalyst um, C9200L 484GE. Exact model is on this side and we're going to check the contents or the components inside the shipping box. And um, yeah, let's open it. Okay, we're opening it. <sighs> yep. Okay, uh, okay, fix camera. I'm um, here, our standard note for Cisco Smart Licensing. And, uh, this big box. Have here our standard power supply. Let's put it here. And our blank cover for your power supply module slot. So if you don't have any redundant power supply, just cover it with this one. And we have two stack modules. Yeah. For our stacking cables, we're going to use it later on. Here are the cable guide, the screws, uh, mounting brackets, and tools for mounting your switch. Make sure you don't want to lose one screw, you'll, you'll be damned when mounting it. <laughs> And we have two stacking cables, um, our stackwise cables, and let's try to open it. Oh, sorry. Let's just open it later. I'll put it here and our allen wrench that will be used for our allen screws on stack modules now let's remove the styrofoam yeah that's it Here is our fresh and new Cisco switch. So here's the front view of the Cisco switch. Let's plug our power supply. And so we do have here um, two power supply slots. You can either use your power supply module or use the black cover. Um, here, I'll try to put it. Uh, yeah. Or use your power supply module. And here it is. Um, this is not included. The additional power supply is not included in the box. So I just have a spare one. So we don't have a replaceable fan here. And that sucks. And here our uh, we're going to plug in our stack modules. We're going to plug our stacking cables later. Okay, let's put it. Mm. <coughs> and we can use our allen wrench to screw both um, allen screws and let's try to power it on going to plug the power supply going to remove this and let's cover it again 
and I'm going to plug it in a moment. Wait. The wire's tangled here. Wait. Okay. Yeah, it's now powering up. Yeah, it's now taking off. <laughs> okay, let's wait for the OS to boot up. So here on the front panel of our C9 200L switch, we have we have here our blue beacon or UID button, our mode button. This is our the status of, of the LEDs, the USB mini Type C, uh, Type C Type B console port and a usb type a storage ports and here our uplink ports um, unfortunately it is fixed you can't replace it for this model so yeah i guess that's it we have here so at the back here's the view on the rear panel um we have here our rj45 console port and our um, management port here so later on on the data center i'm going to show you how i use the uid button or the beacon button it glows blue rear and on the front panel and we'll go back on it later so here's our stack modules and some of you may, might have a stack cover so i do have here my stack module for me to plug in my stack wise cables here to connect it on both switches and use the allen wrench to lock them up i'll just fast forward it it's now locked up and now we're going to connect our stackwise cables <coughs> yeah. going to open it up just going to roll it on the other side yeah okay let's connect it Okay, and then lock it up again. Okay, gonna get here. So logically, we have one device. I think I'll just fast forward it to okay so let's configure test and deploy it on the data center we're now here in our server room And here, this is tagged. Here's the beacon. As I've said earlier, um, this um, UID button, when you press the UID button, um, the LCD panel on the front panel blinks, and the UID LED on the rear panel glows blue, as you can see here. And um, in a rack environment, the UID feature enable us or for us to have an easier location of a server 
when moving um, between front and rear of the rack especially if you're going to shut down or to unplug the power cable the light would be really helpful so that's it guys for our unboxing video of our Cisco C9200L and um, please subscribe if you like the video and thank you for watching